All right, so here I am in uh, a Google Colab notebook. And what we're gonna do in this notebook, if, if you don't have a Google Colab account, uh, do create a Google account. Go to Google Colabatory, or just type in Google Colab and search it up. And the steps to create your own notebook and get started are very, very straightforward. And so in this notebook, what we're gonna do is just go through how do I even install Langchain, and how do I get started on a really quick example? And so um, first, Langchain, it's a Python pack. We're going we're gonna to be using the Python package, so we're going to pip install it. And then we're also going to be using OpenAI. And so we use OpenAI because OpenAI has a suite of models that we can use, and we can actually use Langchain uh, to connect to one of those models or any model that we choose. And so let's go ahead and install this. It takes a few few seconds uh, to install, uh, but eventually it, you know, both packages get installed. And so what I've done here is you need to set your OpenAI key. If you don't have an OpenAI key, um, I'm actually going to show you how to access other models on Hugging Face, which you still will need an access token. For a lot of the for a lot of the models and for a lot of the tools that you use in Langchain, you will need to provide your own API key. So if you haven't gotten an OpenAI API key, please pause the video and go get one. And so I've already loaded mine in, uh, but this is how this is where you put your API key. And Langchain has this module called module called LLMs. I'm going to import OpenAI, and then what I'm going to do is I'm going to instantiate it as an LLM. I'm going to pass in a temperature. Temperature is you can think of temperature as the extent of random variation you want in the model's responses. And so in our case, we want a decent amount of variation, a lot of variation. And so I'm gonna do 0 0.9, because what we're gonna do is we're gonna generate names for, what is a good name for a framework that makes language, large language models easier to work with? And so we know it's Langchain, uh, but what we're gonna do here is we're gonna pass this text into the LLM and it's gonna give us some names. Data bridge. If you do it again, your chances are you'll get a new name. Language modeling architect. And because our temperature is so high, we get different uh, names each time. And so if we choose the temperature to be 0, 0.0, our, our names are going to be maybe the same or pretty close. Data fluent, data flex, data fluent, data fluent. See, it's not really. Uh, it's just choosing the most probable next uh, word. And so I said probability distribution over words, um, but really, you know, it actually predicts the, the, the probability distribution over tokens, right? So there's subwords. And so there is a chance for us to get a different word because data fluent is one word. I think it was data flex was the last one. Um, but, you know, it's one word, but there's different tokens. And so the model is outputting this probability distribution of our tokens. It's picking the most probable one, um, but it's just easier for people to think about the probability of the next word, you know, but it's really tokens, which tokens are like subwords. So. And so that is the basic install in Hello, Hello World. Feel free to play with this, you know, change the prompt, uh, the text right here, change the temperature. Um, if you want, you know, change the model and uh, yeah, have fun with this.